Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be showing you guys everything I crocheted in the last week. I normally have these out um, sometime over the weekend, but I was really close to finishing one of these objects, so I wanted to get that done before I posted this video. Um, and so I'm going to save that one for last. But uh, the other object I finished this week, so I have two finished objects, and that's all I worked on this week. The second project that I'm going to show you guys um, took up most of the entire week, so um, I'll, like I said, I'll save that one. But here's the first one, and I did post a picture of this heart pillow on Instagram, and I did create an Instagram finally for this channel. It's been a goal of mine for a while, so I did create one, and I will leave the link below, and I would love if you would go over and follow me there. Um, but this is from the book um, Kawaii Crochet, uh, this book here, and I've talked about it a few times on the channel. Um, I was really wanting to get more into Amigurumi, and I just really loved the Kawaii style um, I love the kawaii style amigurumi, so I thought this was the perfect book uh, to pick up. And here is the pattern that I made. Um, I used, so she used um, some cotton DK yarn and a 2.75 millimeter hook. Um, I used the Bernat Velvet yarn and um, a six millimeter hook. I wanted it to be quite a bit bigger and I would actually like to make this pattern again uh, in an even chunkier yarn and have like a huge heart pillow <laughs> but this is really just super soft and squishy. My kids love this. Um, they've already played with it quite a bit but yeah it turned out really really good and it was a fun pattern because you make like the top of it and then you have to connect them together and then you just keep uh, once they're connected, you keep crocheting around and around and then decreasing till you get to the bottom. Um, so it was interesting. It was a different technique than I've ever uh, done before. And so, yeah, it was just a fun, quick project. It didn't take me very long to complete. And I can't wait to make an even bigger one of these. <laughs> I also think this would be an amazing gift for, um, like a, for a child for Christmas or something, or even, I mean, obviously for like Valentine's Day, if you have a little girl, um, I mean, it's so cute, which also if you could do this in any color you wanted to and it'd be cute, but I just think this would be such a cute gift for a little girl. So if you are searching for a cute gift that doesn't take much time and doesn't take much yarn, I would definitely check that one out. And I've made quite a few patterns out of this so far. If you go back and watch some more of my Everything I Crocheted This Week videos, there are some featured there. I also have some shorts uh, that I've made of a couple of these. So, uh, But if you are interested in doing any amigurumi or if you already love amigurumi or are wanting to get into it, I definitely recommend this book. It has really um, been a lot of fun to make these patterns. Okay, so then this next project. So, um, this is the project that took up the majority of my week. Uh, I wish I would have logged how many hours that I spent on this project because it probably would be outrageous. <laughs> but um, as I've mentioned before, I do love a good challenge. Uh, that keeps me really invested in crochet and I think that's why I do such a wide variety of types of crochet and different patterns and things like I don't stick to for a long time I did a lot of just hats and things like that um, but in this last year or so I have really started experimenting and making um, things that I never thought I could make uh, just more challenging things because it really keeps me uh, wanting to crochet it gives me that um drive to continue you know it's easy for us to get burnt out and stuff whenever we um do it every day i know most of us i'm sure crochet at some point pretty much every day and after a while you know it can you can get a little burnt out i think all of us experience that um, but doing challenging patterns as frustrating as it can be at times and as intimidating as it can be 
is so much fun and so rewarding to finally get it done. So with all that being said, um, this pattern was shared to me um, on my Facebook page and I will post a picture of it here of the original uh, pattern as well as I will post a link below. I purchased the pattern off of Etsy and um, so I will, so here's what it is, was um, you know supposed to be and it's little picture frame. Um, they have several different um, animals, creatures that you can buy a pattern for but someone asked me to make them the unicorn. So, here it is. Oh my gosh, this turned out so cute. And if you're wondering why it's brown here, that is cardboard um, to keep it sturdy. So whenever she receives this, she will then put a picture in here, uh, just, um, well, you would have seen the picture here of what it's supposed to look like, but that's where the picture will go. Let me get a better close-up of it. So, there you go. I just thought that was so cute. So, what I used for this was a 2.75 millimeter hook. Um, she recommended a 2 or a 2.5. I could not find um, either one of those except for in the hooks that don't have an ergonomic handle. And I just can't work with those hooks anymore, those tiny little hooks that don't have a ergonomic handle. So the only one I could find was from Hobby Lobby. It was a 2.75 millimeter and it had a bamboo handle. And I don't have it near me or I would show you, but that really saved my hand during this project. Um, for the white, I used the Sport Weight. Um, I love this yarn. From Hobby Lobby and for the purple it was the um, yarn yarn topia is that what it's called um, I can't remember exactly I think it's called yarn topia <laughs> but it's a two weight yarn and um, I'll put a little correction here of the actual name <laughs> if that's wrong um, but then for the for the hair or the mane whatever um, I used the Yarn Bee Soft Secret. I had this pink colorway as well, and so that's what I used for that. And then I bought these little stickers off of Amazon, and they had these little pearls, and so I put those on, um, on there, because the buttons that was on the original pattern, it was like these star buttons. Um, I didn't really want to do buttons, I especially tiny little buttons, I just, was like no <laughs> so I saw these on Amazon and they are really cute I really pressed them on well so I really hope they stay but I'm gonna give them a couple sheets of these stickers so just in case they do fall off um, she can reapply them but I think with this just sitting on a shelf as long as it's not played with or anything that they will stay on but yeah so that's really cute um so this was probably the most challenging pattern I've ever made for a couple reasons. Um, number one, I am very new to amigurumi. As I've said in previous videos, um, I've only made a few amigurumi patterns in my whole crocheting career. So um, amigurumi is still a challenge for me. I'm used to working with much bigger yarn, uh, much bigger hooks, and it's just a challenge for me. So um, that made it a challenge in itself, but also I do not like sewing. Um, I used to make those owl hats um, that were really popular about 10 years ago. And, you know, I always had to sew the eyes on and all that stuff. And for some reason, I'm just not into that very much. I think it's because I've always found it a little bit difficult um, for me. I don't know if I've just haven't found the right technique for it or what but it just has always been a little challenging so not only is this an amigurumi pattern but it is a very intricate pattern um, and a lot of sewing so <laughs> it was just a challenge but the way that you start this it's um, I thought was really unique um, you know whenever I was looking at the pattern or looking at the frame on Facebook. I was just couldn't even imagine how it was put together. But what you do is you start out 
with this tube, you make a tube of 88 rows and you stuff it with fiber fill. And then you make the back, which is just a flat circle, and then you sew them together. And then you make the ears, and whenever I sewed on the ears, um, I kind of folded it in half a little bit so they would have a little bit of that um, curve. And then you make the horn, and then you make the arms and legs and sew those on. Um, but I've never made arms and legs before. <laughs> like I said, I'm new to Amigurumi, so I've never like made a full on stuffed animal. Uh, the only ones that I've made are uh, like an apple, a banana, a little Christmas tree, that heart. So definitely nothing like this. Um, and then for the hair, you just um, do four strands together and connect those. And I think, let's see, I did uh, seven clusters of the four strands and braided that. And then I did brush the ends out a little bit. I just thought that looked better uh, that way. Um, but yeah, it was just, oh yeah. And then the body, you do the body obviously and sew the head onto the body. But you put cardboard in here as well to help it sit up. And then the cardboard here and then the picture will go in the front. But, um, and also the only thing I wish I could have changed was whenever I was sewing this foot on, I wanted this color transition to be at the bottom like it is on this one. And I didn't notice that it was there until it was already half sewed. And I was like, I can't take this out. So anyway, um, I hope that she really loves it. Um, it was a challenge to make. I don't think I'll ever make one again. Um, <laughs> just because it was, it took so long to make, but it was fun and I'm glad that I made it. And I think it really um, helped me to put my skills to the test and have to really focus and I'm really proud of it. So, you know, it's not as perfect as the original pattern makers is, but I'm very proud of it. And um, it was a fun challenge, so. Anyway, that is all for this past week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I worked on and I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I have um, at least a couple more videos I plan to put out this week. One of them should be out on Thursday, hopefully, but it is a very fun video that you definitely don't want to miss. Um, so definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I would really appreciate it if you would like this video. It really helps me out and um, encourages me to make more content for you guys. I appreciate all of your comments. Um, it's so fun to reply to each of you, and I love to hear what you guys are working on, so definitely let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!